Okay, welcome back to round one. Blue back control, we lose the die roll. This hand is fine. A little bit slow, but we don't have too many two drops, so yeah, we'll absolutely keep this. Opponent cycles river serpent uh, turn one. Let's go opponent's playing something similar to us. He's blue white rather than blue black. True heart duelist, sure. You're going to get in for two, sir. Irrigated farmland, sure. Hopefully that stops our opponent playing another two drop this turn. I'd be very happy about that if that was the case. Yeah. I think we're fine playing edifice here. I think we'll just play Soul Stinger here. Very much gums up the board. Then we've got Edifice and Trial of Knowledge for next turn potentially. Depending on what our opponent does. Wins a Rebuke, that's fine. Doesn't really change what we do much here, to be honest. Opponent appears to be missing his land drop. Yeah, Let's see if he exerts. That'd be interesting. He doesn't. We will replay out our soul stinger. We probably don't actually want to edifice this turn. Uh, we, we kind of want them to actually swing into our, our soul singer, so. Yeah, I guess we'll play it like that. Yep. Hecma Sentinels, sure. Okay, well. Slow our opponent down. Okay, wow. I'm surprised our opponent's done that knowing he's got two. He hit his land drop. Wow, that was a risky play from our opponent. If he misses his land drop, he's got two, three drops in hand that he can't cast. That would have been a very awkward position for our opponent. Heck, the sentinel, sure. I think we'll trial here. Sure. 
presumably our opponent's going to replay his um, his rec crop. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll just snap kill that, I guess. Slightly annoying. Mm, well. So Sliver did a great job here holding up the ground. Yep. Yep. I wonder if this guy was in our pool as well. We obviously passed the fed pills in our pool, so not beyond the realms. Um, what I'd like to do is be able to play, I guess what we have to play is play out the, well, let's yeah, attack first. Attack with the Angler Drake. Caster Wasteland Scorpion Splendid Agony away the Yep. Okay. Yep. That's fine. what our opponent wants to do here. And pass. If we just kind of ground out this game, our opponent got, had some mana issues earlier on, but... 
been fine. So what opponent plays here? Something big. Yeah, something very big. No. Stoke Stinger's done a great job of holding out the ground here. Made life very difficult for our opponent indeed. Opponent's working out how he's going to tap his mana for whatever it is he's casting. Something big. His own angler trick, sure. What's he going to bounce? Soul Stinger perhaps? Yep, that's absolutely fine. And all you can really attack with here is the Hecma Sentinels. I'll happily trade this off for either of these creatures. Yep. Sure thing. Oh, he's giving it first strike. Okay, well that's fine. We'll trade here. Absolutely. We do hit another land here, which we do. That allows us to flash back the Tah Crop Skirmisher. We play the um, Soul Stinger. We'll leave the counters on himself actually. And we'll stop the Angler Drake from attacking or blocking. to say what we're going to attack with here. Definitely going to attack with these two. I think we're safe enough to leave just two blockers back. This guy's exerted. The Angler Drake can't attack. Yeah, absolutely. Let's do it like that. Slight risk, of course, but I think it's worth it. We have two blockers for the Hegma Sentinels, so. Sure. If our opponent can cycle something, then we lose. Okay. Yep, I'll do it. Hmm, that's annoying. Thought we had that one, but not to be. Disappointing, disappointing. Oh well. I think we want to bring in the Winds of Rebuke for sure. Take out an Angler Drake. Being able to bounce something seems pretty important in this game. Maybe I'm burdened better than Wandering Death here. Strip our opponent's hand. Let's try that. This hand is fine. Sure thing. The center. Well, 
attack what they're doing in the center. Opponent likes not to block. Not so much of a surprise. So we'll take this opportunity then to kill the fan bear. from our opponent. Yeah. Nothing we can do about that for the moment. of authority. Well, let's try swinging first before we do anything. Blocks from our opponent still. Clear our edifice. This hand's not been good to us so far. We'd like to see a few more lands. It's the second time recently I've lost to Exaxes on the old uh, opening to wonder. Disappointing. I feel like we had that game. Kurtish. Sure. Even initiate. We're a long way behind here now. Mm, you're not the land I was looking for. Well, we're sticking in there. I think we actually want to play... Hmm, I guess we want to play Bone Picker. Knowing that we can still Edifice then. Or perhaps we just want to play Shimmer Scale Drake. 
I mean that it blocks everything. You could play Bone Picker and then Supernatural Stamina. Seems fine. What's the emblem cost? Six. We can currently emblem the uh, the one guy. You can't emblem the initiate. just make it so the initiate can't attack. He's going to get to draw two here then and do four damage. It's about as good as we could get out of that situation. If we can hit another land this turn we're in much better shape because we've got the edifice online, we've got the Shimmer Scale Drake in play. It fairly locks up our yeah we did. So that's that's something. Not out of this one yet. We've perhaps stabilized. We can play Glyphkeeper next turn. I still don't think we could afford to get aggressive, but I feel much better about our board state now. Opponent has just drawn two cards, unfortunately. So you'll be feeling a bit better about the situation. You can now emblem the uh, initiate as well. So I think we probably want to. Well, let's see what our opponent does. Devoted crop mate. Sure. Scream with the mindful, sure. I think I'd rather play Glyph Keeper up and leaving up the uh, Supernatural Stamina game before we play River Serpent. We're in a little bit of a situation where we really need to stop the Devote Cropmate crop mate from attacking, unfortunately. Of course, you can only really do that once, so. But getting back the fan bear would be very bad for us, so we probably have. To, we're probably in a position where we have to. Um, well, yeah, I guess so. We're tapped out now, so we're wide open. I've set up a little bit of an air force here, though, which is good. Very close game. Disappointing losing that first one. Point Wraths. Sure. It's 
Pretty bad for us. Pretty bad for us. Probably game. If we hit a land, we can stay in this, I guess. Stop the even wind guide from attacking. Even then, if our opponent has any cycler, we're still just flat out dead. But we don't have many options here. We have to block the. We we can't afford to block here. We have to we have to block the scribe of the mindful. Block the if he exerts, which he will. We have to block the serpent on the spear crop, um, the zombie on the scribe, and hope that he doesn't have a cycler. If he has a cycler, we're just dead. There's nothing we can really do about it. Unfortunately, we don't have any outs. We don't have any options here. Because if we, well, if we block like that, you know, in take two, we lose our zombie and. We're just in desperate shape at that point. He's getting something back. He's getting the... Uh, is he getting the dust to dawn back? Which will kill the servant and we die? I think so. I think that's what he's doing. We'll put into wonder. Yep. Yeah. Good game. We didn't get there. Pro's deck was very good. Disappointing. Hopefully you'll join me back for round two shortly.